Okay, this is uh, week three for CISN 119, DCPIP protocols. So let's take a look at what we're supposed to be doing this week. Uh, there we are in the dashboard of Canvas, clicking on 119, going to modules, and week three, there's a thing here called addressing. And if I click on that, there's some stuff to read here about IP addressing. Well, this is kind of nice. Hmm. And this is a chapter from out of a book. IP version 4 addresses, examples. IPv6 addresses and examples. And the difference between them kind of dry material to just go over but it's nice as a reference so you can actually download this chapter if you want to <clears throat> and it talks about the different bits as part of the uh, IP version 4 address and the different values for each place there's the ones place which is 2 to the 0 power 2 to the first power 2 to the second 2 to the third 2 to the fourth is 16 2 to the fifth is 32 2 to the 6th is 64, and 2 to the 7th is 128. And that's as much as you get, uh, because if they were all 1s, that would be 255 points altogether. And that's what happens with IPv version 4 addressing. You get into it a lot more next week when you watch the videos on how to do some of this stuff. Okay, oh, here you go. This is perfect. This tells you what each one value is. There's 128, 192, 224, all the way up to 255. Huh, nice table. Multicast means you're going to more than one interface. Broadcast means you're going to all interfaces. And uh, unicast means you're only going to one address. So that's kind of interesting too. The host ID, the host address is this half of it or this part of it. And if it's all ones, it's broadcast. Hmm. There you go. Some good stuff in here. Although without anything to connect it to, it doesn't really do much for you. It's more, it's better as a reference or review if you already understand it. So there's lots of material here. And then if you go down here, you can see what hexadecimal is like. You have the equivalent of decimal 10 is A, all the way up to decimal 15, which is F. And this is the binary equivalent of all these different numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 15. And you have a workbook that you're going to be doing next week that will help you to cement binary and hexadecimal into your mind. Mm -hmm. Addressing, more addressing, special version 6 addresses. Ah, here we go. Wow, look at all the bits involved in a version 6 address. You'll get more into that later also. But anyway, this is a good uh, good review chapter. Good reference. And there you are. What else have we got going on this week besides looking at that and familiarizing yourself with that? Ah, there's the discussion on what supernetting is. If you're not sure, the best thing to do is look that up on Wikipedia. And then we have quiz number two. What does that look like? How about a preview here? Ah, here we go. Some stuff about IP addresses. This is pretty nice. And you can use that uh, thing to, that reference work to answer these questions or look them up on the internet. So the other thing that I might do this week, if I were you, just to get a jump on it, is go and look at week four. There is a subnetting workbook right here that you can download, and it has a bunch of exercises in it for converting to decimal and binary and that kind of stuff. And if you go through and do some of the beginning parts of this book, it'll make it easier for you. 
Okay, let's see. Close that one. Don't need that anymore. Holy cow, did I close out the whole thing? I think I did. Let's see, I'm going to go back to Canvas. Where are you? Here we are. Log in. Canvas. And what do we got? 119. I think that was it. Let's take a look again, though. Modules for week three. Addressing. What is supernetting? You have to go in and, and join that discussion. And quiz two is on here. And we looked at that. And I would, uh, as I was saying, look at this subnetting workbook. And that will give you a jump on that and help you out with some of the topics for next week and this week. Okay, if you have any questions or problems, send me an email and we'll see what we can do. And I hope to talk to you again next week. And I hope you had a good Labor Day weekend. And that this week is a good week for you too. So we'll see you next week.